Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing what happens if you drive over lava. So have you ever wondered what would happen if you're driving, running away from an erupting volcano and there were lava crossing the road? Would you be okay to run over it with your car? Or would your tires just burst into flames and would they pop? Today we're going to find out what happens when you drive over actual molten lava. So I have here just some regular red lava rocks. So we're gonna put these in the forge, melt them down at around 1200 to 1300 degrees Celsius, get it molten lava, I'm gonna stick it under my car tire and then drive over it. Okay, first let's put in our lava rock. Okay, while we're waiting for this to get up to heat, let's run over a few things first, just to test it out. Okay, first we'll be running over floral foam. Whoa, just flattened it. Okay, now let's try a squishy ball. These things are pretty cool. If you squeeze them, it squeezes out in between the netting here. Let's see what happens when we run it over. Whoa, look at this goo come out of it. Okay, now some Milky Way candy bars. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so that actually stayed pretty intact. It kind of just made it one big candy bar. Look at that. That even looks more like I want to eat it now. <laughs> okay, we are good to go. Okay, get ready. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that is hot. Hot, hot. Okay, go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Whoa! Look at the tire marks in it, that is so cool. Whoa, it even made a bubble in it. I think that's a bubble. That is so cool. <laughs> it made tire marks in the lava. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this is awesome. You can see the melted rubber on the cement. So the lava just melted the rubber, and then when it got to that spot in the tire again, then it made a mark here. <laughs> it's awesome. So you can see here's where it burned it. It actually didn't do much. I thought it would eat deep down into it. I didn't really know what to expect. I thought it might explode the tire, but it hardly burned any layer of rubber off at all. And the rubber actually wasn't in contact that long with the lava. Probably if we stayed there longer, it would have melted down into it, but just driving over it, it didn't melt it much. So you can see the bubble that formed when I drove over it. Probably the gas from below trying to escape. You can see this hollow part of it here. Then you can see these tire treads. <laughs> so cool. A million years from now, someone's gonna find this rock and try to figure out why there's a tire tread mark in a rock. The coolest thing is this hairs left over. So these are strings of the lava. See it flowing right there? It's actual rock hair. 
That is actual strings of hardened lava. That is awesome. Okay. Ready. Get ready, don't go yet. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it kind of hardened <laughs> and didn't do anything. Okay, that was so cool. Thanks again for watching everybody. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to hit the like on this video and remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And head over to theactionlab.com to check out my new subscription box. The first subscription box is a vacuum chamber box so you get your very own mini vacuum chamber. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.